All right, mm. we are back. Did you smell that? I'm loving this. Mm -hmm. Check it out. We got the ribs, we got the dogs, the wings, the pulled pork, everything from Smoky Bones. Wow. And uh, David Kaiser is with Smoky Bones. Great to see you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Oh, man, this is awesome. So this would be like the ultimate tailgate spread. What are some of the things you have out here today? Well, we have our signature uh, pulled pork, okay. our slow-smoked chicken wings. Oh, boy. We have our beer basted bratwurst. Yeah. just coming on the menu here on Monday. Um, our full rack of baby back ribs, uh, slow-smoked and then uh, sauced with our baked beans and corn. And over here is our pretzel burger. Nice. And one of the keys to the burgers is that when you season a burger, you want to make sure that you put it back in either your refrigeration or cooler uh -huh. to yeah. make sure that the meat is cold before it goes on the grill. Oh, All right. Because otherwise I mean, it's that's, break. that's one of the more popular things is throwing burgers on the grill. So that's kind of, I never do that. So after you season it, keep it cold. Yeah, you want to make sure it's cold when it hits the grill. And you also want to make sure that your grill is clean and yeah. well oiled. Okay. And then when you place it on the grill, after you cook it, little bit, you want to turn it 45 degree angle to get those nice diamond grill marks, whether it's a oh, steak or like a the burger. Diamond, right. okay. Just a quick little turn. Oh, awesome. Okay, nice let's throw a few right there. on there. You want to do that? Yeah. Let's do that. A couple burgers here. I'm so, glad that we picked the surface of the Sunday to what, put uh, the grill out. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> Good. I'm just going to trash this shirt after the show. So, uh, David, so I mean, when it comes to the uh, like the spices and the seasonings on the burger, what do you like to put uh, on, the, on the burgers? For for our, uh, in the restaurant, we use kosher salt and pepper or our Memphis spice, depending on the burger that you choose. Okay. So nothing more. It's just very basic. Yeah, just very basic seasoning. Um, you don't want to overpower the flavor of the meat, uh -huh. especially if you're doing like steaks, you know, if you marinate a steak for tenderness, yeah. you know, right. you want... You want that flavor, sure. the meat. So well, how do you know how long to cook it then? Well, it depends on you know if you like your meat a little on the rarer side or the well side. You know, it also depends on the temperature of your grill. Now our grill here is pretty hot, so it's going to cook pretty quick. So uh -huh. okay, you know, two three minutes, give it a turn, get the diamond grill marks, flip it over a couple more minutes, and you'll be good to go. Now, I like mine around medium. When so. you talk about like you know that it'll cook quickly. You kind of want the opposite when you grill ribs, though, don't you? Yeah. Now, when you're grilling ribs, the uh, you know the the only reason we put the grill or the ribs on the grill, excuse me, is just to caramelize the barbecue sauce. Oh, okay. Oh, you okay. want the sugars to caramelize and you know get on the meat. And, yeah. Uh, so when we do that, we just take one of our racks of ribs right out of here. Uh -huh. So you do a little pre-cooking with the ribs? Yep. How do you do that? Um, we smoke them. All for right. Three and a half three hours and 45 minutes depending on the size of the, the rack. And then you put the sauce on? Then you and put the sauce on, then it goes on to the grill, literally two minutes just to caramelize the sugars and then serve it. It's ready oh, to go. Man. Plate ready, just like that. That looks awesome oh, there. Oh, it sure does. And then, of course you have the sides here. What's in the corn that makes it taste so good? Well, we <laughs> have, uh, you know, I have a the red peppers, excuse me, and a sweet cream sauce. It's oh, not like a wow. cream corn, but it's just to coat the corn. Uh huh. That's just awesome. Now you talked about the caramelization on the ribs. You guys do something similar like with the the wings too, right? Yeah, now these are our smoked wings. So okay. we start off by smoking them for about 30 minutes uh -huh. to uh, 45 minutes. And then they're flash fried, tossed in a Memphis spice. And then our signature rib glaze goes over the top, which is a sweet barbecue sauce. Awesome. Oh man, you now, can if you, just hear that sizzle. You don't want to do all this because there's a lot of preparation, a lot of right. You do have something that they can pick up and yes. take it with? Yes, we have a tailgate to go pack and we have it to feed up to six to eight or 10 to 12, depending on What's uh, in what that? size. What are you gonna you get? can get uh, pulled pork, smoked brisket, uh, oh, turkey, geez. chicken wings, um, you know, uh, all of our sides, baked beans, corn, coleslaw, you know, all that stuff terrible as well, you know, so give us a call. We'll have it ready for you and we'll take the guesswork well, out Well, see, of there it. you go. You're like, I'm thinking, oh, this is great. Now I know how to grill all this stuff. Why would I ever do that when I can just get it in the tailgate pack? I think you lay it out and you just throw one burger on the yeah, grill. Yeah, they, they, they think you did it all. I love it. And then you could use that, like, you know, meat gadget with the app and say, well, I guess Guess the ribs are done. <laughs> Come on over. David, thank you so much. My pleasure. Uh, with Smoky you. Bones, this is all fantastic stuff. So, um, yeah, we get to eat? I'm hoping. Me too. I'm